Hi, welcome to this demo on hybrid cloud Kubernetes. My name is David Cornell, and I am part of the field software engineering team at Canonical, the company behind Ubuntu. In this demo, I'll show you how to connect the dots between Kubernetes clusters on premises or in edge locations and Kubernetes clusters in the public cloud. Azure Arc provides a single pane of glass operating model to customers for all their Kubernetes clusters deployed across multiple locations. By bringing every system into Azure Arc, it's much easier to establish clear roles and responsibilities for team members based on a clear separation of concerns without sacrificing visibility and access. Key features of Azure Arc-enabled Kubernetes include inventory and organization, where you can bring all your resources into a single system. With governance and configuration, you can streamline activities by creating, applying, and enforcing policies to Kubernetes apps, data, and infrastructure anywhere. Integrated DevOps and management capabilities allow you to mix and match additional Azure services or your choice of tools like GitHub, Azure Monitor, Security Center, Update, and more. And with unified tools and experiences, you can create a shared application and infrastructure lifecycle experience for teams that have traditionally been siloed based on locations, skills, and job descriptions. In this demo, we will connect to Azure Arc, a MicroCates cluster running outside of Azure and an Azure Kubernetes service cluster. MicroCates is Canonical's lightweight upstream Kubernetes. It's small, simple, and pure upstream production Kubernetes. We keep it small with sensible choices that just work, which makes for a quick install with easy upgrades and great security. Once the connection to Azure Arc is made, we will use Azure Monitor for containers to view and monitor these two clusters. We will then deploy an application by using GitOps based configuration management. And finally, we will apply policies on these clusters by using Azure Policy for Kubernetes. All right, let's get started. I've already created a AKS cluster on Microsoft Azure. And now I'll go ahead and create a MicroCates cluster on my personal laptop. This could be an IoT device. This could be an instance in a public cloud, or it could be an on-prem Kubernetes cluster. For now, we'll just use MicroCates to simulate another cluster. Now that MicroCates is installed, I'll enable DNS. And we can use MicroCates kubectl to issue commands to this MicroCates cluster. For this demo, I'll use the MicroCates config command to redirect the uh, kubectl config of MicroCates to my actual config file in my uh, .kube config. This will allow me to run kubectl commands directly from the uh, with the regular kubectl command. And this just makes it easier to use the Azure command line tool to do the next steps. Arc enabled Kubernetes is currently in public preview and the documentation can be found on the uh, Microsoft website. We'll be following this documentation to connect the MicroCates cluster to Azure, Arc, and then we'll uh, use the, the same documentation to deploy configuration using GitOps as well as monitor using Azure Monitor for containers and look at admission control policies using Azure Policy. My MicroCates cluster is now added to Azure Arc. And we can see that in the Kubernetes services, we see that the Azure Arc test one cluster is an Azure Arc enabled Kubernetes. But there's not a lot that we can do right now. So let's go ahead and add monitoring to this cluster. Now that we have the monitoring enabling script and the Arc cluster resource ID ready, we can go ahead and run the script to add the MicroCates cluster to the monitoring. Now that monitoring is enabled, we can just follow that link right here to view the health of our newly onboarded cluster. We'll pause right here for a few minutes and wait for the data to start collecting, and then we'll have some data to look at inside the monitoring graphs. OK, so I'll let this run for about an hour to collect some data. So we can see here the node CPU utilization as well as memory 
um, as well as the active pod count. This is for my MicroKates cluster. I can switch to the uh, AKS cluster that I launched previously and have the same kind of uh, graphs for that as well. Coming back to the MicroKates cluster, we see here the containers that are running on the nodes and their average processor and memory utilization. This can be helpful to identify resource bottlenecks. You can also see where containers reside on which worker node. You can review the resource utilization of workloads running on the host. Overall, this will help you understand the behavior of the cluster under average and heaviest loads. The next thing we'll do now is we'll use Azure Arc to deploy configuration using GitOps on our MicroKates cluster. GitOps is the practice of declaring the desired state of Kubernetes configuration in a Git repository, followed by a polling and pull-based deployment of these configurations to the cluster using an operator. We'll be using the Arc Kates demo Git repository from Azure. This Git repo contains a sample configuration, a sample voting app that will be deployed using GitOps. All right, so now that the configuration is created, we can view that it's that it's been properly enabled. We see that the current state is still uh, pending. Switching to the Azure portal, if we go back in the Azure Arc Test 1 cluster, which is my MicroKates cluster, we can look in the configurations and see the same view from here, that the operator state is still pending. We'll pause here and wait for this to be ready. All right, so after about a minute, the configuration is now installed. We can look at the namespaces to see that the team A and team B, as well as the IT ops nam namespaces, have been added to the two Kubernetes. We also see that the Flux operator has been deployed to cluster config namespace as directed by our source control config. And finally, we'll use Azure policy to apply policies to our MicroKates cluster directly from Azure. Azure Policy extends Gatekeeper v3, an admission controller webhook for Open Policy Agent, to apply at scale enforcements and safeguards on your clusters in a centralized, consistent manner. Azure Policy makes it possible to manage and report on the compliance state of your Kubernetes clusters from one place. So, we just assigned the Policy Insights Data Writer Preview role assignment to my Azure Arc enabled uh, MicroKates cluster. Now let's go ahead and install the Azure policy add-on in my MicroKates. Now that the Azure policy add-on Helm chart is installed, let's validate that the add-on installation was successful. We can see here that the Azure policy and the gatekeeper pods are running. All right, so from the list of all services, we will find the policy service and then select definitions. From the categories, we will unselect the uh, select all and then select only Kubernetes. We now need to find one policy that we want to use. So let's take, for example, the um, this preview policy called Kubernetes cluster containers should run with a read-only root file system. From here, we click on the assign button. In this example, I'll choose to do the scope for the Azure Arc test resource group, which includes my MicroKates cluster. We'll keep it the original name. And for now, and we can decide if we want the policy to be enforced or just monitored. So if, if I choose disabled here, we're not enforcing the policy on the cluster, but we'll get a compliance assessment results. So it's always good to start with this. And then if we have the desired result, we can move on to enable to enforce the policy on the cluster. It's generally recommended to exclude the kube system, gatekeeper system, and Azure Arc namespaces. So we'll leave these with the defaults. And we'll go ahead with the final review and create. And going back to my Azure Arc Test 1 cluster in the Kubernetes service, when I click on policies, I can see that the 
the new policy to for containers to run with a read-only root file system is currently not started. So we'll pause the video right here and wait for this to, to get a result. Okay, so after about 15 minutes, the add-on called for a full scan of the cluster. And after gathering details of the full scan and any real-time evaluations by Gatekeeper of attempted changes to the cluster, the add-on reported the results back to Azure Policy. And we can see that Kubernetes cluster containers should run with a read-only root file system is now compliant. So in this demo, we saw how we can use Azure Arc enable Kubernetes to control both a MicroKates cluster and an AKS cluster in Azure, both from the same central location. We used Azure Arc to monitor the clusters, add configurations using GitOps, and enforce policies with Gatekeeper and Open Policy Agent through Azure Policy. Thank you for watching this demo. If you have any questions, please join us in the live chat to talk with our field engineers. Thank you and have a great day.